welcome to make money online channel in this video I'm going to share a strategy with you by which you can take your trading decisions with the help of stochastic and Bollinger Bands so as I published the pre previous video about Bollinger Bands but still there are people saying that there are some issues in their entry and exit points as they do not have sufficient experience so uh, they have some problems with it ok so fine this uh, video will explain you uh, because it will give you more tr trustable trading platform for example uh, uh, as a general scenario we talk that uh, if, uh, if if it uh, the market goes out of the upper uh, upper Bollinger band it means that we have to place a sell order ok as you can see that the market crosses uh, the upper band and then we place a sell order <coughs> and similarly uh, the other scenario is that when the market crosses uh, uh, this lower band then we will uh, place a buy order okay so this is a general scenario but sometimes you see that Bollinger bands stretch so much so this could be a loss for you also because uh, when uh, uh, because I told in the last video that when the Bollinger band uh, bands are narrow it means that something is going to happen very big for example here you can see that the three bands are very close to each other and suddenly the market went so up so the bland, uh, so the band gets stretched uh, from this point to this point and after that the market candle closed inside the band and we have taken a decision to enter into a sell position <coughs> but some people are still not confident at these points because they think that maybe it again crosses the above uh, a Bollinger band sometimes it really happens but uh, here you can take some uh, help from stochastic um, uh, indicator which will tell you that uh, uh, is your uh, trading decision good for sell at a time uh, at this point or not for example <coughs> we are looking at this point um, as you can see that here here it's uh, the the bands of um, I mean the lines of uh, stochastic indicator crossing 80 and now the uh, red is on the above uh, red line is on the above and the blue line went down when red crosses blue line from below and it comes ahead of it it means that now it's uh, i mean uh, now it's over overboard and we have to uh, i mean uh, enter into a sell position so as you can see at the same point i'm go going here as you can see here the market the market closes up, uh, inside the uh, Bollinger band and similarly it's the red also comes uh, I mean on the upper side it, it's giving us a signal that, uh, that now we have to enter into sell position and similarly as we can see the market went down and again at, if you look at this point this is a small point here uh, for some time <coughs> uh, for some time the blue ba uh, the blue line crossed uh, the red line from below and it was uh, by position here and similarly uh, I'm not uh, talking about these trades I'm just uh, uh, giving you uh, the signal that uh, it has signaled here stochastic has signaled there <coughs> so how I trade is that for example as you can see that the market went down now I start looking for some hammer and uh, at least uh, you, uh, the market did not come out of the lower band but this is the main thing uh, that I trade by uh, using candle shapes by recogni recognizing the candles that uh, I, ex uh, I, uh, I enter into the position very earlier for example here hammer appeared and that was a lower trend and hammer appeared which is signaling that this trend is going to end and uh, I entered the, uh, into the position of to buy and I close my trades here so that's how it works ok uh, entering into different time frame so that we can see more uh, I think we have to change currency <coughs> ok coming here as you can see this is a strong upper trend ok guys uh, let me explain one more thing as you can see that this is a strong uh, I'm into H4 chart and it's showing that it's a strong upper trend ok so uh, please if you, when you are going to do some scalping into a trend when the market is is in a trend and uh, market is going in a rhythm as you can see that it's in a rhythm it's moving up and down and it's a rhythm but it's keeping in a uptrend so here how to trade here you have to place your you have to wait uh, I don't uh, I don't want you people to um, uh, to make trades here 
I, I, I want you people to trade with the trend. For example, when you see that the market comes here and it's, look, it's also looking like a hammer and the market now here have a very good chances to move upward. And if you can see the pivot points, they are also showing that the market has to go up. And also, uh, as you can see here, uh, the, uh, the, the blue line has crossed the red line from below and it's a clear signal that the market will be going up. So you better wait at these levels when following the Bollinger Bands not to place anything, uh, any trades against the trend otherwise you will be in a big loss. So uh, it's good for scalping if you do scalping you can enter but uh, personally I do not suggest you because I want you to tra trade within the trend. For example if a trend is a sell trend and I do not s uh, seek anything to place a buy. I only play sell, I wait for some time, I switch to different currencies and then I place a sell order. Okay guys, I think that this video will be so helpful for you and uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the next videos I will be going to share more strategies with you so that they can help you in your trading. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, please watch uh, my daily predictions so that you can be a good trader. Thank you guys.